Hi, oh, yeah. welcome to another video. So I finally decided what to do with this OLED display for Midas. I made a temperature gauge. Uh, I'll show you the code. I'll make it available in the show more. Uh, I also printed a 3D box uh, and I'll put the STL file in the, a link in the show more so you can print your own. Yeah, 3D printed box. If I take the lid off, I'll show you the sensor. So I've stuffed it all in there for now. There's the Max Maxim Center. It's the Max 6675. Uh, cold junction compensated K thermocouple to digital converter. So I've got a K, K uh, type thermocouple down here. I've actually had this for years and years. Meant to put it in the oven years ago, never got around to it. Uh, now I've built this. I can. So still got the PIC inside, PIC 18F uh, series microcontroller. There's the Midas display and as I say I'll make the STL for this case available on uh, YouTube. I'll put a link in the show as I said. Uh, and there's even four little studs. Uh, only took me two goes to get those studs in the right place. So put the display on the studs and just melt the studs down or use some hot glue, something like that. The studs are very delicate, only 2.2 millimeters diameter. So that's the display. That's the Max 6675. My PIC 18 series 28 pin microcontroller inside in a nice 3D printed box. I finally got the number sorted out as well. I had these long, long drawn out uh, ifs and ors for every number up to sort of five, six hundred. Uh, it now uses uh, a switch case statement about four or five times depending on what size number you want. Uh, and it consumes very little memory. Uh, there's three to four fonts to choose from. This one's running one of the sort of medium sized fonts. You, there's the tiny font which I'll show and then there's a massive font if you just want three numbers uh, and this temperature display here uh, that's actually a font is drawn in using Microelectronica's uh, font creator and that's three fonts just three different pictures repeating over so just for reference I've got a just a cheap meter from China with this case here, this thermocouple, uh, comparing it to my programmed one. Uh, and although I've just been near it, this one gives you instant readings. This one, because of the sort of mass, the thermal mass, takes longer to respond. And you can see the meter there. So the meter, that meter is showing 22 on this one, my meter showing 20 it was 19 a minute ago uh, 20 on this one 20 on this one so there's a chip there's a thermocouple uh, there's a microcontroller so that's the serial data in MISO master in slave out a serial clock and that's the chip select that you define so there's the chip select so you bring it low to select the device there's 16 clock cycles and there's 16 bits of data, D0 to 15 at 16. So you don't use bit 15 and you don't use bits 2, 1 and 0. So once you understand the data, you'll understand the rest and where I'm coming from. So this is the register inside the Max 6675 chip. So bit 15, it's a dummy sign bit, so it's not used, so it's not a sign bit. 14 down to 3 are the 12 bits we use. 2 is a thermocouple input, well it's nothing. Device ID is 0, and a 3 state uh, as bit 0. And the data sheet doesn't tell you what the 3 states are, or, or when and why. So unless you've got a clever IDE, so integrated development environment, uh, clever IDE or you're programming an FPGA or 32-bit microcontroller, you've got nothing to shift in 12 bits in one go or 
16 bits in this case, then you split it up. You have to read the MAC675 twice to get the 16 bits. So I've done a wiring diagram for my display and the microcontroller and the bits for the novice, for the real novice. So this section I've done today, everything below. So what's, what is today? 22nd of the 9th. So if I just go up the top. So there's the regular Midas display, OLED, the yellow and black that you saw earlier. Nothing has changed there. There's the Max chip. There's my PIC 18F microcontroller. If you are using a PIC, there's the bits for the data. So RC4 is a data in, RC3 is a clock, chip select, two chip select, so one for this, one for the screen. You just define your own. And RC5 is the data out for the display. So this is important. So I've copied this from the data sheet. Chip select, down, there's a clock, and there's the data. You have to read the data on the falling edge of the clock, not sample it in the middle as is usual. You have to read it in two bytes, so first byte, second byte. See there, second byte, temp two, first byte, temp one. But because of what we're going to do with this, um, this data here, you have to, this first byte wants to be 16 bits long, so you want to make it an int, not a char. All will, all will become clear. So as I said earlier, so that the D15 was a dummy bit, so you ignore that. We want 14 down to 8. So that's 7 bits, and then 7 down to 3. So that's 5 bits, and we ignore the rest. So 2 bytes there and there. And this is for the novice, if you haven't got a clue. Which is where I started, of course, just like everyone else. So bit 14, down to bit 3. So counting backwards, so it's a bit 12, but naught's a number. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That's 12 bits. 12 bits, like data sheet says. We've got to take these first 7 or 8 bits and shift them left. So that's that's the actual code there. Temp1 equals temp1 shifted left eight places. We're taking that byte and converting it to a 16-bit integer and we're moving these bits here up here and discarding bit 15. So that's what happens when we're shifting the bits left eight places. Taking them from here, putting them up here. So then we've got the second lot of 8 bits, 7 down to 3. So scroll down, so now we OR the bits, OR temp1 with temp2. So temperature equals temp1 and OX7F00, OR'd with temp2 and OXF8. So this AND, so you're picking out exclusive bits and leaving the rest. But there's more on that later. So it says show on calculator in case you're not familiar how to do this, uh, pick out the bits. So bring up Windows Calculator. Go into, there's a standard, program of view. So like this first eight bits, for example. So we've got to disregard the seven, which is actually bit eight, eight down to nothing. Ignore the seven. So go into binary here. So six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. They're the bits we want, followed by the second byte. So we've got our bits there, seven bits. So then eight more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's now a 16 bit register. And those bits we've selected, noted by the ones hexadecimal 7f00 which I've got here so those bits there if there were ones 7f00 we've got to all those bytes with this second byte 
So in this second byte, how do we get OXF8? So we want the first five bits of the 8-bit register. So binary seven, six, five, four, three, then two, one, naught equals F8. So when we're putting the AND in the, in the brackets, so we are selecting those bits in there and those bits there and ignoring the rest. But I've got a note down here anyway. Bit 15 is always zero, so it doesn't actually matter. So you, you, you could ignore this, you don't have to put it in. And these bits are usually zero. So bit two is only one when the sensor is open circuit. Bit one is a low for ID or for device ID. But bit three, which they say is three state, meaning it could be on in one state, I don't know when. So you don't want that to come on. So you just ignore it by using that, the exclusive AND function to pick out the bits. But in this case, you don't have to. And if any of these bits came on, they're so small, they're insignificant. So by ordering those two top bits, we've got 14 down to three, so if they're all ones, as the data sheet says, we've got 32,760. Let me pull up the data sheet. Here we go. So a sequence of all zeros means the thermocouple is reading zero degrees C. A sequence of all ones means the thermocouple is reading 1,023.75 degrees C, which is there. And how I worked out my formula when the penny finally dropped. So 32,760 divided by 1,023.75 is exactly 32. So you take all these numbers in the registers and divide it by 32. And if your thermocouple is outputting 41 microvolts per degree C, you should get the correct reading without doing anything else. There we go, 94, 96, or oh, they were within a degree earlier. water which is obviously warming up as we speak we are so this one cools down really quickly it's down to three degrees seven and this one's slow to come down Right, so I'm half hour later. Uh, it's funny this kitchen's warmed up because I've been cooking for my partner. Uh, so I'm guessing the case of this chip, the Max chip, is warmer uh, and it's giving us a bigger error because usually within five minutes these will be within a degree of each other. That's fluctuating between two and three. This is showing one. But all day they've been like within a degree of each other after a few minutes. Uh, and this evening, this tends to be showing warmer. But as, as the data sheet says, the plus or minus one and a half degrees or so, I think five uh, least significant bits, which is actually seven degrees C and below. So what do you believe? Right, so I programmed it for the three large numbers. I put a small delay in because it hasn't got the uh, little font thermometer symbol there anymore. Turn it on as we get. Little pattern. This is obviously three big numbers because you can fit three big numbers on the screen. Here's my blowtorch. Turn the light off. You might be able to see this glow red. I 
I don't want to damage the thermocouple. There we go. That's glowing red. Hopefully you can see it. So these glow red at 720 odd degrees. Plus or minus a few degrees error. There we go. So that's the three big numbers. You're not meant to thermally shock these, but can't resist cooling it down quickly. Put that in the uh, icy water. You can see how long it takes to lose its temperature. You get the gist, that will come down in a minute. Here is the random numbers, uh, three numbers big. Right, finally, before I go, uh, this is the, it's, it's all on the C file, you'll have a look counting from not to a thousand three numbers, uh, not to it's a hundred thousand in five numbers, and then it counts to ten million, or actually nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand etc. Uh, in the small font. So this is the counting to ten thousand or hundred thousand with the five figure number. So there's no delay, so it's writing all each number. And there's no need to clear the display because each number being written is the same size as the one it's writing over. So there's no need to blank the display, it just it puts a new number in the place. So no clear display, no nothing. Not, uh, only when you start coming down in numbers or start you know, doing certain formulas. Uh, then the code will clear the relevant spaces. So that will actually count up to, was it 99999? Anyway, hopefully you found this informative and helpful. The C files in the show more, the STL files in the show more. Uh, please click like or leave a comment. Thank you very much.